Call them whatever you want. Bug out guns, pocket rifles, get home guns, survival rifles. If you ever need one, you'll be damn glad to have it. There are a variety of them available and all come close to the same principle. Each is a compact rifle that can be broken down and stored in a boat, ATV, small plane, or even day pack. Before we get to the list, we have things we'd like to clarify. A survival rifle is not necessarily the same as a truck gun or trunk gun. While they can fulfill that role somewhat, none of these are really intended as a primary self-defense weapon. To assist you in making your decision, we've compiled a list of the top seven scout rifles for survival, along with their key features, as well as important factors to consider in order to choose the ideal one for you. For a more thorough analysis and a comparison tool, please visit our website, gunsyoucantlivewithout.com. Number seven, Mossberg Bolt Action MVP Scout. In the realm of Scout rifles, Mossberg provides a versatile bolt action firearm that, as its design implies, is suitable for a wide range of tasks. I have owned the Mossberg Scout bolt action rifle for about four years now, utilizing it as a test gun, backup rifle, and for night hunting of wild pigs. I can confidently attest to its high quality performance. Mossberg equips this rifle with a sturdy, no-nonsense polymer stock, an effective recoil pad, and short weaver-style rails on both sides of the forward stock. Additionally, it features a nearly standard Picatinny rail system to accommodate powerful night scopes, magnification devices, and a birdcage flash suppressor, which can be removed to attach a suppressor using an adapter ring. Compact and easily transportable, my rifle fits well in a pickup truck and conveniently stows in a side-by-side Can-Am. It also employs a reliable 10-round detachable box magazine. Over the years, I've tested various 308 cartridges in the Scout, including Federal, Black Hills, SIG, and Winchester, using the rifle to study wind drift issues with different bullet shapes and grain weights, up to 400 yards on steel targets. Given its robust construction, this rifle's capabilities are truly extensive. Retailing at an MSRP of $623, the Mossberg Scout Bolt Action Rifle offers great value for the money. The rifle features a 16.25 inch barrel, 10 plus one magazine capacity, one to 10 inch barrel twist rate, matte blue finish, and black synthetic stock material. It measures 37.5 inches in total length and is chambered in the standard 308 Winchester and 7.62 NATO calibers. The front sight is a True Glow protected housing while the rear sight is a receiver type. All rails, receiver, and barred components are made from solid steel and CNC machined to military standards. I can vouch for this quality having visited the facility where these rifles are produced, some of which are currently classified. Number six, Ruger Gunsight Scout. Developed with Gunsight, this rifle features the Gunsight name roll marked on the receiver and engraved on the grip cap of laminate stock models. The 16.1 inch free floated cold hammer forged barrel is capped with a mini 14 SR556 type flash suppressor. Overall length is 38.5 inches with a weight of 7.1 pounds. There are no flats on the outside of the flash suppressor, but it can be removed by inserting a T60 Torx into the muzzle. The same thread caps that work on the Ruger guide gun fit the gun sight scout. The forward mounted Picatinny rail allows for mounting an intermediate eye relief scope. Ruger's patented integral scope mounts machined directly on the receiver provide a stable mounting surface for traditional over the receiver mounting. Iron sights are a ghost ring adjustable rear aperture sight and a non-glare protected blade front sight. The black laminated wood shows a lot of grain on samples I have seen and has checkering on the forearm and pistol grip area. The stock has three one half inch spacers to adjust the length of pull LOP to accommodate different statures, clothing, or gear. A model with a synthetic stock is available and reduces the weight to 6.2 pounds. The bolt has a non-rotating Mauser type controlled round feed extractor. The bolt handle is round and smooth and measures 0.76 inches at its widest point. The GSR uses a three position safety where forward is fire. In the center safe position, 
The bolt can be worked to load, unload, but cannot be fired. In the most rearward safe position, the bolt is locked. Magazine used is the Accuracy International type, and the rifle is supplied with a single 10 round magazine. Five round magazines are available for hunting. The magazine release is a push forward lever in front of the trigger guard. Number five, Savage 110 Scout. The Savage 110 Scout is another rifle that doesn't entirely conform to the weight and length specifications for a typical Scout rifle. While its length meets the requirement at 38.5 inches, the rifle is slightly heavy at 7.72 pounds. Some of this weight can be attributed to the built-in optic mount, sturdy iron sights, and the large compensator that aids in recoil reduction. Chambered in 308 Winchester as expected, the 110 Scout is also available in 450 Bushmaster. For those seeking a straight-walled cartridge, for hunting in states with restrictions on bottleneck rounds, the rifle utilizes a Magpul AICS magazine, which accommodates 10 rounds for the 308 Winchester and five rounds for the 450 Bushmaster. The sizable compensator helps mitigate recoil, though it may cause increased muzzle flash and noise. The forward-mounted scope rail simplifies the process of adding optics, while the integrated iron sights add to its functionality. Notably, the Savage 110 Scout comes equipped with one of the best stock rifle triggers on the market, the Accu Trigger. Number four, AR-7. When most of us think of a survival rifle, the AR-7 often comes to mind, helped along by appearances in James Bond movies and other flicks. This lightweight weapon is a 22 caliber rifle that stores inside its own stock and it floats. This makes it pretty much the epitome of a pocket rifle. First of all, the AR-7 was never actually issued to the U.S. Air Force, although the Israeli Air Force modified and employed a version by Armalite for use as a pilot bailout rifle in the 1970s. The precursor to the AR-7 was the AR-6. While it was selected as an air crew survival rifle, it never made it to any cockpits. There were simply too many M6 air crew survival rifles in use. Armalite was not one to let all that tooling go to waste, however, and rechambered the design in 22 LR. This smaller caliber allowed them to see life in a semi-auto format, as opposed to the bolt action. The original Armalites are touted as the best of the breed, with three other incarnations by Charter Arms, Survival Arms, and AR-7 Industries being hit or miss. Henry has the newest version out, and it's said to be better designed and constructed with superior materials than the earlier Charter Arms version. That form features a Picatinny scope rail and the ability to fit an additional magazine in the stock. Number three, Ruger American Scout Rifle. The Ruger American Rifle can be seen as the spiritual successor to the Ruger Gunsight Rifle. Boasting a lightweight design, detachable magazines, and a Picatinny rail for mounting short eye relief scopes. With its stock designed for rapid follow-up shots and an impressive muzzle brake, this rifle embodies the essence of a scout rifle. However, our experts have identified a few minor concerns with the Ruger American, if we're to be meticulous. First, its 20-inch barrel exceeds the length that Colonel Cooper envisioned for a scout rifle. Furthermore, the rail's placement just above the action could potentially restrict mounting options compared to alternatives like the Steyr. Despite these minor drawbacks, the Ruger American compensates with a standout feature, compatibility with standard 308 AR magazines. This distinct advantage adds to the rifle's appeal, making it an attractive option for those seeking a modern and versatile scout rifle. Number two, Springfield Armory M1A Tanker. Introducing a unique twist on the conventional scout rifle, the Springfield Armory M1A Tanker carves out its niche in the world of firearms. While this semi-automatic scout rifle may not adhere to all of Colonel Cooper's technical criteria, it excels as a versatile, general-purpose weapon that's easily deployed in the field. Setting itself apart from the competition, the M1A Tanker boasts semi-automatic firing capabilities and an increased magazine capacity of 10 plus one bullets, allowing for rapid and efficient target engagement. However, it's worth considering adding a rubber pad since the rifle doesn't include one by default. Firing multiple 308 rounds without proper padding could lead to a sore shoulder, but the proprietary Springfield Armory muzzle brake does help mitigate some of the recoil. Equipped with an excess post front sight, the M1A Tanker enables easy aiming 
even in low light conditions. The rifle does have one drawback though. It lacks a ready sight mount. To attach a forward scope, you'll need to install a mounting system, which can be a somewhat tricky process. Nonetheless, the Springfield Armory M1A Tanker is a fantastic choice for those seeking a modern and innovative spin on traditional scout rifles. Number one, Steyr Scout. Finally, we come to the granddaddy of all commercial scout rifles, the Steyr Scout. While the other rifles featured here are basically variants from the manufacturer's line of rifles, thanks to a decade-long collaboration with Jeff Cooper, the Steyr is a scout purpose-built from the ground up. The Steyr Scout has a fluted, cold hammer forged barrel, measuring 19 inches. Overall length is 38.6 inches, with an out-of-the-box weight of just 6.6 .6 pounds. The Steyr stock is the only one of the four rifles that does not have checkering on the pistol grip and forearm, though it does feature texturing over the entire stock. Five press and twist sling swivel attachment points allow the addition of a ching sling on either side of the rifle. Integrated into the stock is a bipod that is almost invisible until deployed. The rear of the stock houses a second five round backup magazine. Two spacers allow the user to adjust the LOP. The Steyr Scout was designed to accept a low powered forward mounted scope for accurate, both eyes open shooting, backup ghost ring iron sights which fold down into the rail, can be deployed should the optics fail. The rifle can also be fitted with a standard scope if so desired. The test rifle was fitted with a Burris II 7x32 Scout Scope. The rifle comes with two five-round magazines, double stacked with staggered feed. The mags are only two inches high, so they fit flush with the stock. The magazines can be inserted in two positions. Inserting the rifle into the first catch acts as a magazine cutoff, so the rifle can be fed by inserting a single cartridge in the chamber. Slight pressure fully seats the magazine, allowing rounds to feed from the magazine. The magazines are released from either the magwell or stock by depressing tabs on both sides of the mag. A high capacity conversion kit and high capacity magazines are also available to increase carry capacity to 20 rounds. The Steyr Scout has a three position safety Fire mode is indicated by a red dot, and the first safe mode disables the fire mechanism while letting the bolt be cycled. The second safe position locks the bolt, at which point the bolt can be pushed down against the stock, locking the fire pin and firing mechanism out of firing position. Pressing the safety's release tab and rolling it forward returns the bolt to either the safe or fire position. The bolt handle is round, smooth, and the largest of the four rifles, measuring 0.974 inches at its widest point. The Steyr Scout is available in black, gray, mud, or green. And there you have it, our roundup of the top scout rifles for survival. We hope you found this information valuable. And if so, we'd appreciate a thumbs up, as your support means a lot to us. We'd love to hear from you, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. Which scout rifle for survival do you plan on choosing? Thank you for watching and we hope this video has been beneficial to you. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a like. To stay updated on future content, make sure to subscribe to our channel.